Good morning, y'all. Good afternoon. Good evening. Welcome to this crazy house with me, your host, Khadija. You know, I've never seen a group of people so damaged that they would act, um, act, actually be actively participating in financing and supporting their own demise. And that's black people uh, in America. Um, Adolf and the things that we accept the people that we accept because of our pain bodies and our inability to deal with the fact that our brains are not normal because they've been so traumatized you know whether the Willie Lynch letter is a myth or if it's accurate there's a one line in there that I'll never forget and it baffles me. It, it, it continues to drive me. It's almost like that uh, t-shirt that um, well that saying that Harriet Tubman said I freed hundred slaves could have freed a hundred more if I could have just convinced them that they were slaves. And that's how I feel about these coconuts that we have in our community these double agents that we have in our community, uh, people in our community that will actually sell us down the river for a bag, as they say. They got a bag, they could care less about what happens to the majority and the masses of their clan because they're paid. So now you got DJ Academic signing a contract with Rumble who is ran by a bunch of white MAGA supremacists. Then you had Donald Trump and, and was he taking a picture of them, with, I heard, with Joe Rogan and Mike Tyson. Um, and then I know Angela Stanton is out there trying to convince people to vote for him. Look, and I'm not saying it's because you should vote for Joe Biden. What I am saying is, if it's anything that's going to get passed, it's probably going to get passed through that way, if it gets passed at all. But that's not my catalyst. Anytime somebody comes down the elevator with hatred in their heart, banning Muslims, and talking about all Mexicans, and uh, calling black people animals, even right now, that's a buzzword for him when he says animal and trash, that's black people. Like how he did Amarosa. Not saying whether you think she deserved it or not. But just watch that. He And he definitely hate have no respect for females. Right? And women. But whenever you hear him, the dog whistle for him about black people is those words in itself. But yet and still, Angela Stanton got some money from him in jail. To be on this, uh, because she said she couldn't get welfare, so she decided to become a Republican. This is according to her own words. And she wrote a book, but whatever. He helped her get on, um, get a pardon or something to that effect. So now she's forever indebted to the devil. And she doesn't see anything wrong with it. In fact, she's trying to recruit other little demons. Anybody in their right mind that would see a man take a full play, a page ad out on seven innocent black boys. Six, I'm sorry. And ask for their killing. But you got the nerve to support that because you got a bag. Everything that happens to us we are compromised on so many ways because somebody getting made money, whether it's Puffy, Jay-Z, Beyonce, all, all those puppets that are being dangled by the marionette for the weak-minded and for them to continue 
to take advantage of us on every level possible. And it goes back to what Willie Lynn said. Don't worry about it. They'll be perpetually miserable. They'll be so damn miserable, they'll even fund their own execution. And I'll be damned if that ain't the truth. It's disheartening on so many levels. And you see Mike Tyson, Joe Rogan. I mean, Mike knows that Donald Trump is a no good piece of shit. But he doesn't care. Because he is, when he was fighting back in the day, he fought at Trump Towers. So that's his loyalty. They got loyal to, to, to him for stupid shit like that. Even though this man want to see your mother dead. And your family dead. And he sh shit shitted on the black uh, soldier who got killed. His mother. He, he, he really don't got no respect for black women. He hate them with a passion. Women in general. But y'all jumping y'all asses, Ray J, so he can wipe your head like the puppy dogs that y'all are. All of y'all. It's a special place in hell for Negroes like you. It really is. And um, at some point, I can't make excuses for you. Because you are interfering with the progress of my babies and my grandbabies. That's what you're doing. And but with everything in me, I want to see you stopped. I want to see you spited. Because of your foolishness. Let me go. I'm out of here. If you like what you hear, subscribe and share. DJ Academics, the sign with Rumble. What kind of madness? He got the bag, though. He got the bag. Y'all some losers. We just... Yeah. <sighs>